this was a camp for enemy aliens, as the United States government called them, um, which was essentially undocumented Japanese immigrants. And they were all men as well, which makes it a very interesting story about how Japanese, first generation Japanese men cope with isolation and internment. It's so far removed from anything else that if they tried to escape, um, they would certainly be captured or they could die because of the wilderness. Are we here? We are here. So this is the location of the baseball field uh, upon which internees played. And I think what's interesting about this landscape is it attests to the fact that they demanded recreational and leisure activities that were, again, guaranteed to them based off the Geneva Convention. And when they got here, they one of the things they said in the petition to Fort Missoula was that they had nothing to do here. And as you can see, it's very, very remote. There's not a lot to do here even today, right? And so the baseball field is one of those things that they made sure they had in order to have something to do while they were working, doing this hard physical labor on US Highway 12. This is a nice place to do research uh, and to bring students out really into the wilderness of Idaho.